Countdown presented by BSC Investors Protection Fund. Well, now in a Bloomberg TV exclusive, Tony Fernandez promoted uh, Tunes Hotel this collaboration uh, with Mumbai based Apotis Hotel plans to invest in hotel properties worth nearly 650 crore rupees in the next 3 years. The company plans to open 20 hotels in tier 2 cities. Right, so let's get you more on that story. Sapna is here with details. Uh, Sapna, what are you picking up? What do the plans look like for Tony Fernandez? Clearly, India seems to be the flavour of the season for Tony Fernandez. After his aviation plans are all set to take flight this April, his hospitality venture Tunes Hotels based out of Malaysia is also spreading wings. In the coming years, the company, along with Mumbai-based Apodis Hotels, is all set to acquire and invest in properties worth 650 crores. The JV, also funded by ILN FS, the finance company, has pledged about 100 crore rupees to the hospitality entity. Currently, the JV, known as Tunes Hotel India Services, has invested in properties across tier 2 cities as well as top holiday destinations in North India, totaling up to about 250 crores in 10 hotel properties across Ahmedabad, Delhi, Goa, Baroda and Agra. Holiday destinations with tune in hotels include Lunavla, Nimrana and Daman. Remember, the company had earlier planned to invest about 200 crore rupees in the next three years, but the strategy has clearly shifted and Tony Fernandez is now betting big on the India story. The company has, as a part of its goal, is looking to open about 23 star hotels in various cities by the end of March 2016. Apart from this, the JV may also open standalone stores of the EXO Cafe that it currently markets only at the hotel. The company continues to scout for land parcels and coal shell properties in metros such as Delhi, Bangalore, Chennai, Mumbai and Hyderabad. Now, what's got Tony Fernandez betting big on India while the country remains nearly on a standstill is the growth in tier 2 cities. Company sources have indicated to Bloomberg TV India, real estate is more manageable in tier 2 cities and it remains a difficult bet to get prime locations in already stagnant metros such as Bombay and Delhi. Countdown, presented by BSC, Investors Protection Fund.